Good evening, everybody. So it is uh, Christmas Eve, and I guess since it's Christmas Eve here in Saskatchewan, it's probably definitely sometime Christmas morning, day, afternoon, evening, perhaps even in Australia. Um, even in Europe, I think you guys are like seven or eight hours ahead of us or something. Anyways, we wanted to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And we also kind of wanted to talk about Christmas traditions. What are some of your guys' Christmas traditions? And I think we would just kind of want to talk about a little bit of our Christmas traditions. Mine, myself, before I met Ashton. Ashton. And now since we're married and have a little one, we kind of want to make some new Christmas traditions. So uh, let's talk about that for a second, shall we? We don't want to take up too much of your time, but we'll quickly talk about it. Well, I'll go first. Obviously, we have a fireplace on our wall. Um, that's about as much as Santa gets to come down. And uh, we obviously got to make sure we stomp that puppy out before he does, or it's going to be a bit of a, <clears throat> a positive experience for him. Or negative, depending on which way you look at it. But anyways, so as I was growing up, we always, we always opened our Christmas gifts Christmas Eve. Opened them all. I don't know if it wasn't, I don't know if, I can't remember if we just couldn't wait till Christmas morning or maybe we just weren't early birds. But anyways, so we just started opening them on Christmas Eve and then it kind of snowballed into, it became a tradition that whatever you got, maybe it was a, maybe it's a, a, a board game, maybe it was, you were really hoping for video games when you were young. So maybe you got video games. Um, I remember one time we got a, a PlayStation or something, and then after that, maybe we got different video games going out throughout the year for the PlayStation, whatever it might have been. It was tradition that my brothers and I, we would stay up all night long playing those games, whatever it was. We were like, maybe it was a race car track that you got or something, and you would stay up all night setting this race car track up. You would not sleep until you were having multiple races on that race car track. So it doesn't matter what it was, that was the tradition. Now I'm a little bit older. I actually prefer my sleep. I really enjoy sleep now, it seems like. And uh, not that we get much of it because uh, Chapel does his absolute best to make sure that he keeps us up at night. <laughs> but um, isn't that right, huh? In your little FHF onesie here. Uh. Oh, is that so? <laughs> but um, so anyway, that was kind of our traditions. Obviously gathering with family. Um, maybe we do secret Santas um, with, you know, um, neighbors or whatever it might be um, but those are some of the ones that I can remember Ashton do you have any um, traditions when you were growing up what are some of your traditions when you're growing up? okay wait uh, sorry I, I, I cut you out there you just you're talking about family stuff yeah it was always a big family thing Christmas Day was always at my grandma's all family would get together we'd go to a Christmas Eve service um, oh, yeah, we which is usually too. later at night. <laughs> <laughs> and then you go back and you stay up super late playing card games and board games and visiting and eating a lot of food. Right. And then you'd go back home and you would be so tired and then dad would read the Christmas story from the Bible. And then you'd go to bed and we would My dad would also do the exact games. same thing. Out of, we out didn't of Luke. open anything though on Christmas Eve. You couldn't open anything? No. Oh, Christmas you were Day, deprived. We would open stockings until Dad got in from milking cows, and then we could open gifts. Right, because he, he had a dairy at the time. Yeah. Sorry, I cut you food. off again. You went back to Grandma's. <laughs> back to Grandma's, and then Boxing Day we went to my Grandma's on the other side. So you would alternate. And when we oh tradition at my Grandpa Joe's, there was this huge hill, and every year we went tobogganing with our cousin, oh, and that God, was pretty bargain. epic. Right, right. We would play hockey, obviously. Oh, no, but we ours was far more dangerous. Yeah, it probably was. You probably had ramps and jumps and so on. But yeah, so we go play hockey on the dugout. Maybe in our we have a hockey rink, um, which was just built recently. But uh, there was always a little rink in our town. We could play some hockey. What else? Yeah, get family. Lots of family would be involved. Obviously, grandparents come over. You try to uh, meet up with the with your extended family if possible. Um, oh, World Juniors. That was always a thing. World Juniors, which is hockey, obviously. So that starts Boxing Day, as you guys already know, Boxing Day, and then it goes into January. It's a kind of a big Did you ever get Christmas any tradition. traditional gifts like that happen every year? Like we always got a movie in our stockings. A movie? A movie. No, I I didn't even get socks. 
Now we, we always do Christmas socks. Okay, yeah, so we're, we, we, we're rocking our Christmas socks. Now check it out. We got, a, we got a lazy Santa here. I don't know if he's lazy or not. But, snowflakes. And then Chapel has got some little snowflakes going on. Classic. And then Mike, he's rocking out to the uh, – these were actually gifted to me, so I don't know. I got the Grinch <laughs> socks here and don't know what everyone was trying to tell me. But anyways. That's a tradition now. Christmas yeah, so we're not, yeah, which we we don't have on yet. So Ash and I were this is our second Christmas together, but first Christmas with Chapel, obviously. Um, so we're trying to make some new traditions. So we're pulling some of our traditions in from you know our childhoods, but we're also wanting to make some new traditions, something that's kind of unique, something's kind of I don't know. Mike Ash and Chapel, right? So. Um, Ashton, you were, had some traditions in mind and yes. they had involved ornaments. Ornaments. Now, would you like to walk us through that? Now, speaking of ornaments, these yeah. Christmas ornaments are all Ashton's. And uh, most of these ornaments she's been collecting over the years. It's kind of a, I guess, tradition a to her. Time. Over a long, long many years. And. Uh, ornaments as gifts. You collect. When you travel, you get some. And sometimes there's a story behind them or, you know, so anyways, um, I was allowed to put an ornament on the tree. I know, right? And, uh, so Mike put up this little minion from Maui. This is Mike's contribution to decorating the Christmas tree. You guys right here. Oh, uh oh, is he going to stay there? Um, so anyway, yeah, sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off, Ashton. You were talking about ornaments, new traditions that you would yes. like to maybe start. Yes. I would like, as a family, to go to Canadian Dyer. Yes. Or somewhere. Yeah, anywhere. And each person of the family picks out an ornament that they like and yeah. would like to give to somebody else. And then we drive around the town or city, yeah. wherever we are, and each person picks out their favorite Christmas house and then leaves a little message. When you say Christmas house, is that because it's like decorated? It's the most well, decorated? For whatever reason that they want. So you could just be randomly driving by a house. You're like, oh, I like the architectural architectural design, and you're gonna give them a little uh, Christmas thing, or it's gotta be like yeah. lit up, yeah. reindeer, snowmen. Yeah, maybe you like it for that. Maybe you just want Christmas to lights. Feel that, that house needs some extra Christmas. Maybe it doesn't yeah. have a single light on it. Not a like, single light. So then you leave them a little note saying, "Merry Christmas." Merry Christmas. Or so. Whatever. And then you hang it on their doorknob with the note. Is that weird if you hang something on someone's doorknob? Not you think? To run. <laughs> weird. We're going to be in the newspapers or the news next Christmas. So yeah, we haven't obviously done that this Christmas. Um, Chapel isn't quite old enough to hold a, hold an ornament yet, but next year he's definitely going to be walking up to put on an ornament. So uh, yeah, we're looking forward to some different uh, Christmas traditions, and um, we just kind of want to know what some of your guys' Christmas traditions are. Do you guys obviously family's probably a big thing. Do you guys open Chris do you guys open gifts on Christmas Eve? Do you just wait till Christmas morning or do you open one gift Christmas Eve? Because I opened them all Christmas Eve. And now Ash and I we're actually starting a new tradition again. And I'm not really a traditionist. Traditionalist. Okay, I'm not really. But we just want a couple. You know, maybe we take a photo of chapel in front of the Christmas tree or maybe in the same place every year or you know something that you can kind of look back on but um, so we like we love Christmas cool. all three of us love Christmas it is our favorite time of the year and uh, we actually opened one gift on the eve of Christmas Eve I know we're just dragging it out even longer and then maybe we'll do a couple gifts on Christmas Eve or all the gifts on Christmas Eve depending, where we are. depending on where we are and what family we're with and because we alternate you know Christmas here with one family, New Year's there with another family, and Christmas back and forth, stuff like that. So, yeah, tell us some of your guys' traditions, because we're looking for some new traditions. Yeah. yeah. Didn't you used to volunteer at the... Oh, yeah, like soup kitchens yeah. and stuff, Salvation Army. Yeah, so that's obviously that's something that we really enjoy doing. Um, haven't done that, actually, in a little while, and I'm kind of feeling guilty about it, but... Uh, we need to make yeah. time. Yeah, we got to make time. That's one thing that we we're learning well, last is time was... isn't made. You have to actually carve it out and make it. So I know we're still learning on that. What did we say, Yeah, we're a work in progress. I think they did it all different last year, but 
did what? Well, with the whole COVID restrictions and... There's lots of things you could do, though. Yeah. You could make little, like, uh, you could do plates of food and deliver them to different people. They had, like, could, gifts that you could or, give Or, yeah, secret the, Santas. No, like, to the elderly. Oh, yeah. We could go caroling. I'm not a caroler. Like, my best rendition of Jingle Bells is really bad. I'm just saying. It'd be like, Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells, Jingle all the way. Yeah, we should probably never do that. <laughs> He's like, was that a donkey? Was that a horse? What the heck was that? <laughs> we love you. I will not get that out of my head. <laughs> yeah, we love you. Oh, man. I guess the what Mike is not, probably the reason why he got his, his Grinch socks, is Mike's not really a gift person. Like... That was never my love language. It's not really my thing. Um, You're a giver. Yes, I'm a giver, but I'm not. I'm always struggling with going out and buying gifts for people. I'm just like, I don't know. Like, you like gifts. I love shopping. Yeah, and I, I, I'm not against shopping as long as it's in a dealership. <laughs> you know what I mean? But no, seriously, I'm just not a big... Because we live in a no, society, we live in a world now that... Everything's on our fingertips. We can go pretty much and get stuff, and, and we're so spoiled, it's not even funny. Like, we have a roof overhead. We can turn on a tap and have hot water on demand. Um, you can typically go to a closet. Most of us can go to our closet and choose what we want to wear for the day. Um, we're super blessed. You know, the Lord has definitely blessed us, and uh, I think that I definitely Mike's take that for granted sometimes, and I just don't really feel like buying gifts. This is Mike's Christmas wish list. Oh yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah. I put on Christmas wish list because we were supposed to do that, and then so Mike put on like grain cart, you know, air drill, harrow, heavy harrow. Um, well, not that. It's my. <laughs> that's your own baby. <laughs> that's my own baby. <laughs> with my uh, with his uncle. That's, that's the kind of wish list we get from Mike. Yeah. So, but you know, I'm just trying to be a realist. You know, I'm trying to think. Yeah, these are the things that we need or could use. Or and that's like, typically the type of want. gifts that Ashton gets from Mike. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Mike goes to like dealerships. <laughs> Hate to even say it. Chapel, you're gonna be real lucky if you're into Fastenal. <laughs> all these different places and buy stuff. I'm like, oh, Ashton, look at this. We got a beautiful set of sockets. It's fifty percent off, and I wrap them. And, oh yeah, talk about wrapping. Let's talk about wrapping for a second. So. All these beautiful gifts down here, obviously they're wrapped fairly nicely. You know Mike didn't do that. Like you know me well enough by now that you know that Mike didn't do that. You want to see Mike's wrapping? Yeah. Mike uses gift bags. And then he just sticks a bag on top there so you can't see it. And then, oh, he also likes stockings. He can stuff the stockings full of stuff because you don't even have to wrap stockings, right? It's awesome. And then you just stick something in there so people can't see. And done. Easy peasy, life is breezy, you're saving money on wrapping paper. So anyway, last tradition, we don't want to waste your guys' time, um, which Mike was new to, because he married into, you know, Ashton's family as well, obviously, and uh, they, they do hide the pickles. Now Mike is very small town, conservative, and they're like, yeah, you gotta go and try and find the pickle. And Mike's like, what? Excuse me? What kind of Christmas traditions are you guys into? And it turns out it's an actual pickle. It's, an, it's, a, it's a pickle ornament, and they hide it in the tree. So last, I think it was last year, Christmas was up there, right? And they hid three pickles. It's one person hides all the pickles, or can you have multiple people hiding pickles? One person hides the pickle. One person hides the pickle, and then you have a gift for each pickle found. Okay, you also have to buy a gift, maybe it's a $20 gift or whatever it might be, and you hide the pickle, and then everybody has rules, and apparently they're all different because I learned the hard way. You cannot touch the tree, or at least I couldn't. I can't move any ornaments out of the way to look into the tree. I cannot use a flashlight to look into the tree. What I could do is I could sh shut the Christmas lights off 
or I could leave the Christmas lights on. That was my choice. I could not touch the Christmas gifts to slide my head underneath and look up the tree. So I, so all we did is, this is all we did. And Ashton did hide a pickle in here. Mike's not very good at hiding stuff like that. So uh, Mike just hangs it on the side and he like obviously I'll put it behind, you know, that's pretty clear. But anyway, yeah, I'll hang something on it. So, and apparently like you're supposed to only look for the, you're supposed to only look for the pickle with all the family present. Make sure no one's breaking any of the rules. And uh, you guys see anything in there? Am I allowed to look for this? Are we, can we look for this pickle, Ashton? No, you shouldn't because it's not Christmas Day. Come on. I actually, this is, works to my benefit because I can kind of zoom in on this and look between, inside the tree. There, there isn't a no cell phone, is there? I don't think so. Can I see anything in there? It's green. It actually looks like a pickle. I have seen it. Well, anyway, I don't want to take up your time, but there is a pickle in there. And normally, so back with her family, when it's pickle hunting time, all the family comes and it's like war. Like people can get bloody noses. People start throwing people under the table and hucking you into a wall. Maybe not quite that serious, but like, like you can't touch the tree, but you can definitely shove your family to the side aggressively but anyways so that's kind of some of our traditions we'd like to hear some of yours and i think that's it we don't want to take up your time it's christmas or christmas eve for you or christmas or maybe you're already boxing day by now but he's the best gift yeah he is our best gift hey you this year hey you we love you oh what kind of face is that <laughs> That's what you think of everybody like, right now. He's like, Mom put her arms under he's her like, arms. he's like, stop that. <laughs> no, he's doing it again. <laughs> we love him. He's our son, Chapel. We're new parents. It's pretty obvious that, you know, you can pretty much tell that we're new parents. Careful you don't hit honk, honk his head here. Mike's done that a few times. Uh, Mike was actually, unfortunately, uh, trimming his little fingernails. And look how tiny these things are. And, like, they're... Can I just... No, don't... Look, oh, no. There. Like trauma. He's like, trauma. these things are so <laughs> tiny. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's what I think about that. Let's <laughs> bring it back on me. Anyway, I took a small little chunk out of his... tip of his finger. Don't and I like felt you. terrible. And yeah, don't act like you haven't done that or something like it or rolled your child down the stairs by accident. Not that that's happened or anything, but, but we love them. Right? Okay, guys. Merry Christmas. Happy freaking New Year. And uh, we'll catch you on the flip side. Adios. Bye. Bye. Okay, yeah, that's definitely clear. It's definitely bye. Bye.